One hundred million. A hundred million dollars is what Epic Games is gonna be putting up for Fortnite prize money for the first year of competitive play on this game. Guys, this is the biggest announcement that we have ever seen Fortnite make. And we've seen Fortnite make some big announcements. I mean, you guys remember just in the last few months, I mean, it was all over the news about how much it was exploding and, and how many people were playing and stuff like that. Then we got the mobile and that was a really big deal and cross-platform, yada, yada, yada. This is by far the biggest thing that Fortnite has ever done. And this is going to explode this game like nothing we have ever seen before. And not only is it going to explode Fortnite, but honestly, for a lot of other games out there, at least competitive-wise, they just aren't going to be able to keep up. Like, this this is ripping the chat, F to pay respects, for a lot of games out there, especially for, like, the, the middle-tier type esports titles. I hate to admit it because I, I love it, but I'm, I'm talking games like Call of Duty and stuff, dude. I really don't see how they're going to be able to keep up with what Epic is doing. And this is just like, they're just going to keep on increasing the distance between them and everybody else. So let me, let me put this into perspective for you guys. Fortnite is putting up $100 million for prize money, all right? Last year, in 2017, every other esports title combined, and we're talking about some big titles out there, like, you know, Dota, CSGO, League of Legends, all, Smite, all those. I mean, we're, we're talking tons and tons of big, super popular titles. In total, all of the esports combined in 2017 had somewhere around, like, 110 to 120 million dollars for prizes. Nothing to shake a stick at, that's, that's huge. I mean, esports has been absolutely exploding, there's no doubt about that. But Epic is coming in here, and they are about to match what every single other title out there is doing combined by themselves. Think about that for a second. This is going to be so massive, dude. Like, I, I don't even want to know how much Fortnite is going to explode from this. Both from the, the, you know, kind of like competitive perspective, but also from just the game in general. Like, when we're talking about this much money, there are going to be so many people coming over to play it. There's going to be so many eyes on it. It's going to be everywhere. I mean, we already have, like, shows on TV for CSGO and stuff. This, this is going to be absolutely everywhere. So, we're going to have so many more people playing, so many eyes on it, so many companies wanting to get involved, wanting to advertise and stuff like that. The game is just going to explode, both on the esports perspective, but also in the, the, the normal kind of, like, regular pub stomping game perspective. Epic's gonna make so much money from this, they're gonna keep improving and, and building, and, and this this game is just, it, it's gonna explode. It's already exploded, and it's gonna get even bigger, and this is, it, it's just, it's crazy, man. I, I cannot believe that they're putting this much into it. Like, I expected a lot. I expected them to really, you know, kind of destroy it, and I expected it to be the biggest esport of 2018, but I didn't expect it to be so big that it matches everything else combined. Like, this is just, it's going to be nuts, dude, and I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be crazy. You guys know I come from a competitive background. That's where I got my start. I started playing competitive COD, and then I started making YouTube videos. So I'm really pumped for this. I, I, I'm not going to be competing. I don't think I'm anywhere near good enough, but I'm just, I'm excited to see how everything changes and, and everything that comes out of this. And obviously we're gonna have a lot of the major esports orgs like Optic and, and FaZe and Envy and Luminosity and everything else bringing teams to this. But we're gonna see more more teams from like professional sports, you know, franchises coming into this. I mean like 100 Thieves, they're partially owned by the Cavs. I don't know if you guys knew that, but like we're gonna have more actual like legitimate sports franchises coming in and getting involved with this and it's just it is going to blow this game up to a, a point that it's never been before and like i said not only is it going to blow the game up but it's also going to destroy a lot of the other games out there in terms of of just kind of like their popularity for esports like think about this for cod esports think about think about if you're a pro a pro cod player obviously that's kind of where i i no most. I, I've been in the COD community for a really long time. I've been loving Fortnite recently, but I still love COD. I still want to see COD do well, but honestly, this makes me nervous. Think about if you're a COD pro. You can do, you know, quite a few tournaments a year. They've got, like, the pro league and everything like that. You can win a couple hundred thousand here, a couple hundred thousand there. In total, there's, like, a, a few million that you can earn per year if you were to win everything. That's, that's like, total prize money is a couple million. Now think about, would you continue playing that game if, in total... Your max earnings was like a couple million, which you're not going to earn all of that. You're only going to earn a small percent of that. Would you consider, like, uh, would you consider, would you continue playing Call of Duty? Or would you switch over and would you start playing something like Fortnite where even if you, you get an even smaller percentage of the winnings, 
that percentage is gonna be worth so much more because it's a percentage of a hundred million dollars. You know what I mean? Like I, I just, I legitimately cannot see COD players not switching over. I really, I, I, I can't, honestly. And I, I can't see a lot of other games out there. I mean, like, even for like Counter-Strike and for a, a lot of the other like big PC games like Dota and Smite and everything else, those ones, we're talking a good, I wanna say like, I think the, the max is out around $30 million. Like CSGO is probably around like 11 to 12 total prize money, stuff like that. So a lot of these other professional PC gamers out there who aren't even coming over from console, they can have an easier transition. They're gonna be switching from those titles too because that is just so much more money, dude. It's, it's like not even in the same ballpark. We'll take both of these kills here. You got any loot for me? A little bit? Are we getting shot at? We've got to be getting shot at, right? He's down. Got him too. Sorry, buddy. I'll take your sniper. Could definitely use that. Okay. Where are you going? Oh gosh. Woo! Good stuff, we got him. Alright. I'll take it. We gotta get some uh, some heals and some shields. I'm surprised we don't really have much right now. So let's go ahead and grab this. We're gonna build ourselves up in a little, little one by one. Drop this and start healing. But yeah, dude, it's just like, not only like, cause COD, it's gonna be a, a bit of a struggle to switch. I mean, a lot of, uh, ooh, thank you. A lot of those players, a lot of those COD players are PC players. So it's gonna be a little bit tougher of a switch. I know a lot of them actually do play a lot of PC, especially a lot of PC Fortnite. And they might, it, they might have a, a little bit easier of a switch. But a lot of these other like professional PC teams that already play, they're gonna be switching too. They're already great on a keyboard and mouse. They're already super accurate. They're already everything that they need to be for competitive Fortnite. I've got a feeling they're, they're just gonna switch on over. It, it, it's just, it's gonna completely change up the gaming realm, the uh, competitive realm, everything about it. Everything is just gonna be exponentially bigger and better and crazier and it's, it's gonna get nuts, dude. It's gonna be really, really crazy. So we got guys firing back RPGs at us. I'm trying to get some shots in here. Um, yeah, dude, I don't know. It, it's it's gonna be pretty nuts. I'm, I'm excited though. It's gonna be very exciting. If you guys have been watching Friday Fortnite and enjoying that, it's only gonna get bigger and better because at this point we don't even have like a, a legitimate, we don't have a legitimate Fortnite competitive playlist yet. You know what I mean? It's, it's literally just people pub stomping against each other. Oh, what the fudge? You got me, bro? Thanks. It's literally people just pub stomping against each other, like coming in and, and playing a duo or a, a squad in duos and seeing who can get more kills. These guys aren't even fighting each other yet. We don't have private matches. We don't have anything set up. And it's already as big and as popular as it is. And it, it's just, it's only gonna get crazier and crazier, dude. So like, I I don't, I can't even predict what this is gonna look like. We've never seen anything like this in esports before. And uh, it's it's all very, very exciting, that's for sure. Obviously, it's a really exciting thing if you like Fortnite. It's kind of a little bit depressing if you like a lot of the other games out there though. And I mean, what happens when COD loses the, the if it does, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to, but if it loses the, the edge on competitive, like the main game itself is not gonna be as popular and it's already kind of been in a downturn lately. I don't know, dude, it's just, it's, it's definitely gonna shake things up in the, the gaming community and it's it's gonna be a whole lot different than anything we've ever seen before. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see how this goes. I was gonna say, I don't really wanna take this fight right now, but our buddy helped us out. Our health is looking a little weak here. I'm honestly, I'm the most curious to see how they do it. Cause obviously a lot of, a lot of competitive games out there have the team based and they do more like, you know, 4v4, 5v5, that sort of thing. How are they gonna do it for, uh, for, for this? Like, I, I feel like squads is gonna be a little bit too crazy to watch, especially with all the building and stuff. So like, I could totally see them doing it as, as duos. 
kind of like we've already seen with Friday Fortnite and stuff, or I could totally see him doing it as solos as well. Um, PUBG and, and stuff have kind of done more of like the, the solos vibe. So I don't know. It's going to be real interesting. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but gaming as a whole is definitely going to be changed in a, a big way very, very soon. I wish I could have got some more kills for you guys here, but honestly, it, it was just kind of crazy. Our team destroyed this other team. 27 people left to one. That's not even close. I prefer being on the losing team in this mode because I like, I like getting a little bit more action, but... I, uh, I would say that this one's probably a wrap, and it's going to be an easy win. So we're going to go grab this drop. I'm going to leave you guys there. I doubt we'll end up finding the last person here. I don't want to keep you guys around forever, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to see what you, you have to say. Coming from somebody who loves Call of Duty and, and, and COD competitive and stuff, I just like, like I said, I, I don't see a lot of the pros sticking around. I, I think a lot of people are going to switch over to Fortnite, and I, I think we've got a crazy couple months coming up ahead of us in terms of... Uh, in terms of competitive esports. So, I don't know. It should be interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. And uh, peace out.